Hello and greetings everyone, all of you distinguished viewers of ladies and gentlemen. This is a special interview with the Chancellor, His Excellency Dr. Mansour al Awar. We're very happy to see you here with us, Dr. Hoping you're having a good day so far. Yes, we do. I would like to talk about Hamdan bin Mohammed Smart University. Particularly, we're here on the initiatives category. The university is considered to be the first accredited e-learning academic institution by the, minister, the, the UAE Ministry of Education. Could you tell us, as a beginning and an opening, the role of this academic accreditation in driving the adoption of smart learning on a large scale and locally as well? Uh, first of all, uh, my personal and our gratitude at Hamdan al-Hamid Smart University goes to the I would say the godfather of, of the vision of such an approach of edu new education, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President, the Prime Minister, the ruler of Dubai, in early 2000, 2001. Uh, this initiative uh, was completely out of the blue for this region, for this geography of the world. And I think. Uh, we were the blueprint of uh, the standards which the Ministry of Higher Education at that time in the United Arab Emirates has issued a standard for licensing such uh, an online higher education institutions. So we were the blueprint for the standards. Uh, in other words, uh, we walked their talk and uh, we were actually the kitchen under which this accreditation has taken place and I think uh, United Arab Emirates today uh, stands at the forefront of the Arab world in terms of the advanced uh, criteria and standards for licensing such an institution. So uh, I think uh, Hamdan al Muhammad Smart University came a long way uh, in terms of accreditation. We are the first accredited uh, university, uh, online university in the region. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and credit goes to both the Ministry of Higher Education, the Commissioner of Academic Accreditation in the United Arab Emirates, and the, our leaders uh, on, on their vision. And uh, it was kind of an innovative approach to education because it really was an innovative idea and it disrupted the system and transformed. Speaking of innovation, Your Excellency, the university is considered to be the first in the region to migrate to all of its systems and applications to the leading cloud computing platform, Amazon Web Services, the AWS Cloud, also known as that. This exceptional and unprecedented achievement, what benefits did it come with? It comes with, uh, when we launched it, I didn't know about it until we launched it with Amazon. They have claimed that you are now in good company uh, with the company of Harvard, MIT, and Oxford and Cambridge. And they said that you are the beacon in the region because you are rubbing shoulders and you dare to rub shoulders with giants. And those are the giants institution of higher, I mean, of, of higher education. Uh, so we are blessed to be with those giants in, in, in one league like Amazon uh, Web Services. And it creates opportunity for scaling up our operations beyond the borders of United Arab Emirates. Doctor, um, in 2018, you've made quite the initiative, quite the breakthrough. Advising has always been a very vital role for both the advisor and the advised. But then you came along and, and monopolized with a new system, smart advising. Now, to what extent has this impacted the learning process positively? One of our key values is our learner centricity. Learner centricity means that we are very much focused on building up the appropriate skills that will enable uh, the, our, our learners to be on the forefront on, in the world of entrepreneurship and innovation. In that case, the skills are very, very much important. That is where they need to be guided They need to be advised. Uh, we have been always saying that uh, for our learners, you are in the driving seat. You tell us, and we are your Google map. You tell us the Google map doesn't function. 
unless you enter your direction. And getting the direction, that direction is important for our learners because it will somehow uh, get them into the process of where to go in the future. So the academic advising, transformation of it to the uh, uh, I mean, smart advising is done by the system. So we don't have to have an actual advisor anymore. So you are automating the whole process. And especially uh, with our current uh, mode of delivery, an online delivery, so that would be a nice fit into the system. Another thing that uh, I personally admire is the marriage of two concepts that people always see as opposites. Uh, no one has seen them as two, as two sides of the same coin. Games, education, gamification, employed in the year 2017. Now, how did this affect the process of education and how much did it serve it? How much did it attract and, ma and magnetized the, the, the students into this, into this mechanic? Yeah, the same way that you have characterized, I think you, 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 are, you were spot on in, in, in terms of having education plus gamification and, and gaming. There are two opposites. It's the same when it comes to entertainment. So it's not a concept just only of gamification, game with education. It's also with edutain, education plus entertainment. Mm -hmm. Because the passion of people always goes when they love to do something that they would love to do. They, their passion is towards it. So the gamification that we have started is unlike the gamification. It has been there for quite some time in higher education. But they were concentrating on the game, the, 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 the game-based courses that have been offered through the university around the world. But what we have come up with, the new thing, is a holistic approach to gamification, to what the activity, the experience of the learners would be captured, mm. and to be going through the growth uh, accordingly. So in whatever activity the learners would do, they get credits for it. So that is why the gamification is about where learning becomes fun. It's like you're in a game, you have a dashboard. You have, you have how, how many points you got today from your activities? Well, I, I'm, I'm 100 points, someone is at 200 points. Okay, where do you stand from the university of all learners? And where do you stand from your cohort? So, and, and each level leads to other, and there are incentives as well in each level, because you'll be incentivized. Because at a certain point in time, you might be, if you go to another master's degree or in another uh, program in the university, you will get a 15 to 20 percent discount. Mm -hmm. So it's incentivizing people to get their skills polished. And it's a learning experience. Let's talk about the word smart, which is the identity of this university. Hamdan bin Muhammad Sport University. Not only is it on the building, but it is one of the identities of it. We are within the walls of a building that is so smart, even in transforming its facilities as well, in terms of sustainability as well. What is the importance of this smart building supporting national and international strategic directions? And what brought up the existence of the word smart? What was the need that brought it here? You're talking about a smart building, I suppose. Yes. I think our, our building that has been granted for us by the government of Dubai, it was a traditional building. Converting it with the smart is the infrastructure under which that we can operate uh, with the high tech, as well as also we'll be utilizing lots of savings in terms of the utilities that we are using, like uh, electricity, water, air conditioning, and not only that, but the navigations as well, and crunching big data as well, in terms of how you become much more efficient in running the building. We have saved accordingly for the last two to three years, considerable amount of money in terms of our expenditure on utilities. And not only this, but also the maintenance of the building. It's a huge building. So the maintenance has become being unbundled because of the smart, uh, smart building. And the, also the utilities bills has been reduced considerably. Mm -hmm. But the most powerful concept that we have applied throughout the transformation is we brought in private sector 
along with us, different companies who were not talking to each other under one roof to talk to each other. And now they have gone throughout the world with those consortia of, of, of companies along with HBMSU as a showcase to be able to become the beacon in the, with the world of academia, because this is the first academic building being transformed. Your Excellency, the university launched an initiative and it was meant to prepare a global benchmarking frame to formulate standards for universities that apply smart learning systems. Now, with this, with this initiative, how do you re-engineer the future of higher education in a world that is constantly changing? When we, when we were in the early 2002, when our first inception of the university, people were looking at us very, with ambiguity. I mean, who, who are you? What you're exactly doing? You are going to demolish the education. You are going to spoil it. This is not the way. How would you compare yourself with the rest of the ranking of the universities around the world? We were at that time, at the very beginning, we were intending to have our own league. Because like the other universities, they have league, like a Shanghai league table, the ranking, yes. uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, foundation for, for universities, but they are all traditional. All the ranking agencies across the world today, they are all traditional universities. We dare to call for cooperation between organizations, which are leading the e-learning, the online learning, the smart learning, distance education, and universities who wishes to who wish to, to join us into this effort to bring up new set of data and benchmark. That is where it starts. All the league tables will start first of all with the big benchmarking and, and a set of data that they can to have a terms of reference. So we agreed in 2019, February signed five big organizations and universities to set up a consortia of universities that they are now looking into establishment of the terms of reference for us. It means data, because ranking depends on data. When the data is not available, you cannot benchmark and you cannot compare, then you cannot rank. That is cool. So, we successfully launched that in 2019 in Dubai, in United Arab Emirates. And our colleagues from around the world, they said, we all had this idea on our mind, but no one did the initiative, take the initiative to push it forward and to pull it forward. So we did it. And uh, today and then next February, the first set of data and benchmarking will be published by international universities and organizations who deal with distance education, smart education, online, e-learning, whatever they can you name it. That is a major achievement worldwide. And it launched, was launched from Dubai, United Arab Emirates to the world. And the best is yet to come for sure. Your Excellency, Dr. Mansour Lawa, thank you very much. We'll be back with you, our dear viewers, with other categories of this promising special interview with the Chancellor, His Excellency, Dr. Mansour Lawa, of the Univer Hamdan bin Mohammed Smart University. Stay tuned. <laughs>